Hi guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to build a basic website using Composer. In this tutorial we're going to be going over how to add content, how to add a title, how to add an image, how to add a link, how to add a list, and how to add some basic style sheet rules. So once you've opened Composer it should look something like this. And from here let's just start. So basically just add your title, whatever you want. Then you want to select it. And then in this area where it says body text, you want to hit heading one. And if you want this to be in the center, all you have to do is hit this button and it'll be in the center. So now that we got our title, let's add an image. Okay, now that we have our image down to our desktop right here, what we want to do is we want to upload it to our Bluehost. So once you've logged in, you're, you want to hit the control panel and go to file manager. But there it is. And you want to hit upload. Choose file. And here it is. Hit OK. It's complete. Close out of this. Hit refresh. And there's our image. Uh, this is pretty lengthy, so let's just reduce it and just leave it as moon rename file so now we have that so if I open um, a new tab and type in my domain name with the image name it should come up and there it is <coughs> so we know that this image is working what you want to do next is copy the URL Go back to Composer, hit the image button at the top, and paste it into the image location area, and then just type in an alternate text. And then we got this image. Now if you want to center it, again, just hit the center button, and if you want to resize it, click it, and then drag the, the corners and you can adjust the size. Okay, now that we got our title and our image, let's add our content. So, to save time, I already pre-typed a little, you know, paragraph out, so copy that and paste. And now we have our title done, our image is done, our content is done, now we just have to add a list. So, things I learned, um, let's give it a title. So, again, copy or select it, and then hit heading 2. So now it's a new heading and hit enter and to add a list you want to hit one of these two buttons this will give you a numerical list and the other one will just give you a bulletin list Um, uh, 
And let's do one more. Um, Okay, now we have our list done. So next what we're going to do is add a link. Um, let me just choose a ran. Okay, Bill Gates right here. You want to highlight or, yeah, highlight it. And then go to the top where it says link. And this is where you're going to enter your link location. So you want to go back to your internet. Copy the link, go back, paste it, hit OK, and now it's a link. Oops. So the last thing what we want to do is just add our style sheet rules. To do that, all we have to do is click this little CSS button at the top, and it's going to ask us to name it, so I'm just going to name it Moon. OK, save. And you want to click this thing, the drop down menu, and go to the body text. Hit OK. Oh, whoops. Go back. Body text, create style sheet rule, text. We can change the color. Let's change it to. Uh, I'll change it to red and hit OK. So now our text is red. And let's add another one. So again, hit the CSS. And let's change our headers to a different color. Um, let's make this green. Hit OK. OK. And let's just add like background color again. Hit the little palette button. Um, create style sheet rule. Go to background. Um, color. Change it to light gray, hit OK. OK. And let's just underline this. There you go. And that's basically it. We're done with that. So you just want to go to File, Save. And it's on our desktop, and all we have to do is just upload that to our Bluehost. So let's close that. Hit Upload. Select File. Moon.html. Choose. Close it. Hit Refresh. And there it is. So now let's try it out. And there you go. Our website's done. If you guys have any comments um, or questions that you guys are stuck on, uh, leave it down in the description box. Sorry, not the description box, the comment area. And if you don't have a YouTube account, um, you guys can uh, go to my website and go to the contact page and just type your question there. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. All right, thank you.